with the tournament belt and the $250,000 grand prize. They all have guts, but only one gets the glory. We get right to tournament action with the first of two heavyweight semifinals. All right, gentlemen, you got your instructions in the dressing room. I want a nice, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. In case of a knockdown, go to the neutral corner. I tell you to go to. Remain there until I call you out. Any questions over here? Any questions over here? Fight fair, fight hard. Touch gloves. I've yeah. seen fighting fight. like this on U.S. Network, so get ready, fans. The bell, and we are underway with the first semifinal matchup in the Glory Heavyweight Tournament. Three three-minute rounds. As the favorite, Gokan Saki, immediately. Going on the attack with a crisp punching combination against the bigger Verhoeven, and that is rolled a... Oh, and Saki taking umbrage with the referee, Wagner, who ruled that a knockdown. Duke, do you agree? I didn't think so. I thought it was a but slip from Verhoeven. He could have been disqualified for punching the referee. Yes, but he's going to get his composure. He's got to get... Now he's got to get this point back. He's got to either drop him to make it even or win the round. And he is in danger because... Two knockdowns in any single round in the tournament will be well constituted as a TKO or three knockdowns in a single bout will be terminated and it will be ruled a technical knockout. So Saki already behind the eight ball here early in round one. Yeah, you just need to get busy. Don't worry about it. You know, he's got three rounds to get it done. You know, he's got to get active. You know, he's definitely, it was a tough call, but he's a professional. Very open, definitely, he's going to enjoy this edge right now. You can see the speed advantage of the Saki. Minute 45 left in the opening round. The bigger Verhoeven walking down. Saki, who is along the ropes, lead left hook to the shoulder there by Saki. Whips a outside low kick to Verhoeven. Verhoeven makes the knee almost was going for the front kick. He just past the midway point of the opening round. Saki already being knocked down once. Again, a ruling by referee Chris Wagner. Saki began kickboxing at the age of 11. Also played soccer, but gave up that sport at 16 because he enjoyed kickboxing so much and decided to spend all of his time on it. A smart decision. As you look at the results of the crowd starts chanting, Saki is there holding on the attack. Rico Balboa looking to shock the world. Inside low kick by Verhoeven has Saki along the ropes. Step back, step back, break. Verhoeven started martial arts training at the age of seven. In his four glory appearances, more than half of his 219 landed strikes have been in leg strikes. 30 seconds left in the opening round. A good start for the Prince of Kickboxing. I agree. Uh, I think Saki's a little tight right now, and he needs to take advantage of it and press the action. Front kick by Verhoeven. 15 seconds left in the round. Body kick by Verhoeven. Counter left hand by Saki. He immediately goes to the body block. The clinch broken up by the referee, Chris Wagner. Again, you have two seconds in the clinch to deliver a knee strike, or it will be terminated. Inside a low kick and a left hook by Verhoeven. Great start for Verhoeven in this semifinal matchup. The bell and round two. Verhoeven in the black glove, Saki in the white. Outside low kick by Saki, countered by an inside kick by Verhoeven, who goes upstairs with a punching combination. Jab through the guard by Verhoeven. There's a jab to the body. Saki coming forward with a couple of lead left hooks that miss, but then lands a left body kick under the armpit and follows up with a left hook to the head. Verhoeven needs to keep on that jab. Saki needs to keep on his combinations. He needs to be relentless here. Don't let this kid settle in and get his confidence. Verhoeven seems to be getting his confidence, and it's making him dangerous like this. You read the body language, it appears that Verhoeven is the confident one, and what you said in the opening round, Saki appears to be a little tight. Yes, I mean, under the big lights of America here on Spike TV, uh, it, it can get under your skin. And again, he is the favorite in this tournament. The number two ranked heavyweight behind glory heavyweight champion Semi Shilt, whose future remains uncertain. Talk that he may be retiring. Left hook to the body and a left hook upstairs by Saki. They're moving with a slight edge in the total strikes landed thus far in the fight. Knee up the middle by Verhoeven. Smothered 
throws him with the jab. Just past the midway point. Lead left hook by Saki. Blocked by Verhoeven again. Sweeps the leg and again. No throws or sweeps allowed. In glory. That was a nice low kick. It hurt him too. Inside low kick by Verhoeven. Checked by Saki. Oh, and that may have been south of the equator. And Saki again over aggressive. And the crowd reacting to the poor sportsmanship of Saki following that. Shot south of the equator. Well, protect yourself at all times, they say, in the fight game. And he will have up to five minutes to recover. I understand. I understand. It's a caution. Don't let it happen again. Don't let it happen again. Wait. You got five minutes. You hit him low. Say low. You ready? You good? Yes? Ready? Let's go. There was the left kick that caught him in the cup as the action resumes here at the Sears Center Arena. First semifinal of the one night four man heavyweight tournament. The winner must win two fights in one night. Walks away with the belt and the $250,000 grand prize as Saki now begins to put together his punching combinations. Going behind the guard with the left hook and the right hand. And now Verhoeven off balance with that right hand along the ropes as Saki is on the prowl. Well, that's the Turkish Tyson we were talking about. The global audiences are going to see some great fights tonight and some great action. Left hand by Saki fighting out of a southpaw stance. People don't realize how much athleticism it takes to, to punch and kick like they are uh, in different angles. Right at 10 punch. seconds of the round. Better round for Saki. Right hand through the gun and a spinning kick at the end of the round. Saki and power strikes in the opening round. Saki returned the favor in the second round, doubling Verhoeven 14 to 7 in total punches landed in that second stanza. The bell in the third and final round. The winner moving on to the final later tonight. Saki has got hope for winning this round that fast because then he can make it the fight and draw a little sudden victory. So that's how you have it on your unofficial scorecard? I, I believe Saki won that last round. So we're, we're going in still with the first round and the knockdown score that they're moving up. So Saki's got to win this round just the tie and then go into sudden victory or KO. That is the drama of the tournament. So you got to love it. Saki starting to switch his stance a little bit. He's doing very moving. What he's doing is stepping an angle and the hook over very moving's left guard to try and catch his blind spot. There he goes again, like that. Saki again on the south pass stance. Verhoeven coming over top with the right hand. One minute gone in the final round. That high kick blocked by Saki. Back to an orthodox stance, a couple of left hooks behind the guard, Verhoeven with a low kick. Now he doubles up on the jab. High kick blocked by Saki, or excuse me, Verhoeven delivered by Saki. The power of Verhoeven is undeniable. You see he's moving from Saki every time he kicks him, which stops him from being able to punch back. Sometimes even when you kick the guard, it's going to stop a good puncher from being able to punch back. Those, those shin kicks are important to stop a good puncher. And yet only 10 of his 40 victories have come via form of knockout as he gets his head caught there with a jab by Saki. There's a left hook to deliver by Verhoeven. A very competitive contest to begin this one night four-man glory heavyweight tournament as Saki avoids that head kick. One minute left in the fight. Who wants it more? Who wants to make a definitive statement in this opening scrap?
first semifinal is headed to the judges' scorecards. Is an upset in the making here in Chicago. Spinning back fist by Saki Lance. We'll have the official decision after this. Judge Sal Diamato scores the bout 29-27. Judge Bastian Kester scores the bout 29-28. Judge Dave Smith scores the bout even 28-28. It is a majority decision for your winner, Rico Verhoeven! And Rico Verhoeven has done it, upsetting the apple cart in this tournament. He upsets the number two ranked Gokan Saki. Verhoeven is on his way to the final. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we go to the other half of this tournament bracket for this heavyweight semifinal matchup. He has fought some of the biggest names in the sport, beginning at Glory to Brussels, and tonight hopes to unseat two more of the world's elite. Hey, the corners. Okay, guys, listen to my command at all times. When I tell you to stop or break, you break clean. I'm sending you to neutral corner, you go straight to one of those neutral corners. Defend yourselves at all times. Touch up. Back to your corners. Right. The bell in round one of this second semi-final matchup in the Glory Heavyweight Tournament. Daniel Gita in the white gloves. Anderson Braddock Silva in the black gloves. Silva's MMA namesake, the former UFC middleweight champion, recently saying that Silva has the best stand-up in Brazil, following in the footsteps of Brazilian kickboxers like Glaube, Fitosa, and Francisco Filho. No fear out process here, you gotta love that. Uh, Gita keeping a tight guard. I know he's worried about Braddock's punching skills. In the open workouts the other day, I saw something interesting. Braddock was playing around and switching to lefty. And I'm waiting to see when he does that. He's looking to punch over Gita's guard, maybe throw him off balance a little bit. the temple. That's what happens when two big guys are in the ring. One shot will finish it. One minute, 56 seconds of that very first round. Ruled a technical knockout for your winner, who now advances to the tournament final, Daniel Gita. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it all comes down to this, the final of our heavyweight tournament. Let's get our two finalists to the glory ring. For the glory heavyweight championship. You want to have a good clean fight, protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Fight clean, fight hard. Any questions, fighters? Hook them up. Let's rock and roll, guys. In the opening semifinal, the bell. And round one, the winner to receive the tournament title and $250,000 cash. Mauro Ranallo, Duke Rufus, and Ron Kruk, ringside. Hope you're enjoying Glory 11 Chicago, wherever you may be watching. As Bear Hoopman comes up, stalking Gita, but it's Gita that delivers the first signature blow, that liver kick. Nice right hand. 
What agility he has to pick his legs up that easy and accuracy. You know, a lot of big guys are good with the low kick, but he picks the body kicks up beautifully. Gita known for his savage low kick, but has plenty of power, especially in that left hook. And there he goes for the knee, but stumbles and falls. And of course, referee Al Wickers waves off any thought of a knockdown. Counter right hand by Gita. And the crowd really behind the former bodyguard of the Romanian president. Now it's electric here tonight. A lot of Romanian flags flying in the crowd. It's an awesome atmosphere for our first glory here in Chicago. I love it. Just over a minute gone in the opening round. Just below the belt, they touch gloves to show sign of sportsmanship there as Van Boopen now backing up. Heat up, cornering him, measuring him up. Van Boopen again step coming back, in close. Back, delivers a right hand to the body as they clinch, and referee Al Wickers will break them up. Let's him strike and he sets a trap so he can hit back on his own right. Nice jab by Gita through the guard. Verhoeven hits a right hand, right uppercut by Gita. Just misses with that left hand kick. Outside low kick by Verhoeven. Verhoeven's got to be careful about closing his guard tight because Gita's going to try and flip a punch around it. Gita looking very comfortable, very confident. Body kick by Verhoeven, push kick countered by Gita, and that was just below the belt, so they touch gloves. Good sportsmanship, two of the very best in the sport, showcasing their skills here. And this feature attraction, the final of the Glory Four-Man Heavyweight Tournament. Gita's looking the most fluid I've seen in, in, in his last few fights. Definitely made a change to his game. That counter right is beautiful. And let's not forget, Gita stopped Anderson Silva early in the round, the opening round of their semifinal belt, while Verhoeven went three rounds with Saki. He keeps going for those hooks around the guard. Real smart. Final 30 seconds of the opening frame. Jab by Gita through the guard. Punch kick combo by Verhoeven lands the right hand. The time between Verhoeven jab and cross is too, too long. That's why Gita's able to counter him. Verhoeven's got to speed up the rotation on his shoulders. Right hand behind the guard by Verhoeven, and then he goes to the body. Great start to this tournament final between Gita and Verhoeven. Round two, straight ahead. The bell goes, and we are underway with round two, scheduled for three three-minute rounds to determine the Glory Heavyweight Tournament champion. Push kick by Verhoeven, who's in the white gloves, Gita in the black gloves. Inside low kick by Verhoeven, counter body kick by Gita, shelling up. Verhoeven goes to the body with a left hook. There's a nice straight right hand through the guard by Verhoeven. Verhoeven gets stronger as the fight comes on. He gets in there and, and he gets going. He gets better. Nice uppercut. And Left uppercut, right hand by Verhoeven, but Gita comes back with a combination of his own. He's got to be careful not to try and kick the back leg in between with his right leg because he's going to get caught with the right hand over it. Second round. Body punch by Verhoeven. They are going toe to toe here in Chicago. This is an impressive pace for heavyweights. I can't believe the pace they're keeping. This is why I don't fight anymore. Right up a good left hook combo by Verhoeven. And it seems like Verhoeven is picking up momentum on Gita, maybe slowing down ever so slightly. Yeah, I see that. Gita's got to watch it. His chin's popping up, and it's there to be hit. Right hand behind the guard by Verhoeven. Now in the clinch. Taking a moment to touch his body up. There's a left hand kick by Gita that connects. Another left hand kick taking a page out of Mirko Prokop's playbook. His head just got popped back like a pest dispenser with that right uppercut. Yeah, that was a great move. The, the uppercut smart right there while his guard's high come under. Jab by Gita, counter right hand by Verhoeven, who continues to move forward, going into the final 60 seconds of the second round. A much better round for Verhoeven. But Gita stands in the pocket. When Verhoeven makes it a fight, makes it a brawl in a, in a phone booth, he does very well. And the crowd trying to rally Gita with chance of his surname. Gita, hot shot of him there. Right hand, inside low kick by Verhoeven, connects the head kick, blocked by Verhoeven. What a pace here in round two. Sure. Now Gita, he's smart, he's trying.
Terry go under that guard with his upper guard. And Gita eating those punches from Verhoeven. Final 20 seconds of the round. Gita needs to tuck that chin. And keep a structured guard and stance as well. He's a little off balance right now. Gita's recorded 38 knockout wins compared to Verhoeven's 10. And we are headed to the third and final round of what has been a tremendous tilt thus far. One round with $250,000 up for grabs, the tournament belt, and all of the glory that comes with the victory. Duke, how do you have it going into the final round? Right now, if I looked at the stats, I'd have it uh, 2 Gita, but I, I You don't have to look at the stats, though. Yeah. The stats don't always tell the story, right? No, but it, I could see it 1-1, too. I'm, I, like I said, I'm glad I'm not a judge. Yeah. I'm just sitting here enjoying this fight. I'm as excited as everyone else to be here. This is one of the best fights I've ever seen live. You know, if phone booths still existed, I'd say they're fighting in a proverbial phone booth, but right now they are at close quarters, and again, the crowd trying to rally Gita, who's along the ropes, Verhoeven coming forward, attacking the body with the right hand. Punching upstairs. Very close indeed, Gita, with 94 total strikes. A slight edge over Verhoeven. And referee Al Wickers giving Verhoeven an opportunity here. After uh, another shot just uh, below the bell line. Good job of making this a fight. That's what he needs to do. Take Daniel Gita out of his methodical style. Good hot right uppercut on the inside by Verhoeven. And now with the tie clinch, just pushing Gita back to the ropes. A minute 45 seconds left. Again, a quarter of a million dollars to the victor. And the spoils of taking the tournament belt. Who wants it more? These two are leaving it all. Judge Smith scored about 29-28, a unanimous decision for your winner. And now, Glory Heavyweight Tournament World Champion, Rico!